because they scared. Kanye West is hospitalized today after a string of several bizarre recent incidents. Kanye West canceled his concert here in L.A. tonight just hours after ranting and then walking off the stage in Sacramento. It's a new world, Hillary Clinton! It's a new world! The hip-hop star reportedly was taken to UCLA Medical Center after a series of erotic public outbursts. West is said to be under a psychiatric hold today, which prevents him from leaving the hospital. You know why? Because y'all been lied to. Google lied to you. Facebook lied to you. You know, mental illness. Perhaps. And, and you know, we've seen unusual outbursts from Kanye in the past. But this last one, this mm. past weekend, we all really stopped to wonder if everything was okay. Because this one was... It was a 17-minute tirade, 17 minutes in a concert. That, that's like a lifetime to sit there and just rant. Kanye West has reportedly checked into a Los Angeles hospital and is now under observation. Reports say LAPD conducted a welfare check a little after noon Monday. There was reportedly no criminal activity involved, but responding officers determined to hospitalize West for his own safety. This comes after the rapper canceled the rest of his tour just two days after going on a ramp during a concert in Sacramento. West came on stage 90 minutes late, performed two songs, and then this. Cause y'all been lied to. Google lied to you. Facebook lied to you. Radio lied to you. I've been sent here to give y'all my truth, even at the risk of my own life. Even at the risk of my own success, my own career. I've been sent here to give y'all the truth. JC call me, bro. You still ain't called me. JC call me. Hey, bro. JC, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. I'm not trying to be the man. I just am a man. The same as everybody here.
falsehoods. I got the vision, bro. That is what I've been blessed with, my vision. I'm not always gonna say things the perfect way, the right way, but I'm gonna say how I feel. Right now, I will prepare. And finally here tonight, after a turbulent weekend, Kanye West is getting some help. The breaking news tonight, Kanye West hospitalized in L.A. Officials confirming to ABC News that the rapper and business mogul has checked into the hospital. Authorities responded to a disturbance at 1.20 p.m. That call then became a medical emergency, and West was taken to a local hospital for further assessment, where he was declared medically stable. A source close to the star says West is suffering from exhaustion and sleep deprivation. Don't want to lose again. This all comes on the heels of a series of bizarre concert rants, which were followed by the cancellation of the remainder of his St. Pablo tour. On stage, West has been taking aim at everyone from Beyonce. Beyonce, I was hurt. Because I heard that you said you wouldn't perform unless you won video of the year over me and over how I play. To Jay-Z. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't sit them out my head. To his own supporters. To black people, stop focusing on racism. This world is racist, okay? Let's stop being distracted to focus on that as much. I've been a fan since I was like like out of the womb. I just I just don't really like Kanye right now. I just lost all respect for Kanye. Rescue 41, psychiatric emergency, Moral Avenue. The LAPD says officers responded to a call of a disturbance. I'm putting my career, my life, my public well standing at risk when I talk to y'all like this. The sudden medical emergency comes after several days of bizarre behavior at his concerts. The situation unfolded just hours after canceling the remaining 22 U.S. dates of his St. Pablo tour. LAPD confirmed they responded to a call at 1.20 p.m., at which point the fire department was called in. It's been reported that West tried to resist paramedics and had to be handcuffed to the stretcher. I was uncharacteristic of him, but that aside, you know, to cancel a month and a half's worth of tours when a lot of money is on the line, something is pretty wrong here. Exhausted, just really tired. Rapper Snoop Dogg watching West Sacramento concert Saturday night where he went on a wild rant and walked off stage. I smoke weed. Weed don't make you do that. What the f is he on? There's still a lot of questions tonight about the health of rapper Kanye West. Feelings matter. Because guess what? Everybody in middle America felt away. And they showed you how they felt. Feelings matter, bro. It's a new world. It's a new world, Barack. It's a new world, Jay-Z. These is the vibes, bro. This is the future. This is the way of thinking to make America great again. Sacramento Kings player Anthony Tolliver tweeted, This dude Kanye just stole money from 22,000 fans in 25 minutes. Craziest thing I've ever seen in entertainment. Two songs, rant, walk out. To black people, Stop focusing on racism. This world is racist, okay? Let's 
stop being distracted to focus on that as much. Now, at the same time, we've been tracking for a while Kanye's problems. Mm -hmm. uh, as far back as, mm -hmm. you know, the summer, we were talking to people who knew him well from Chicago, like Rhyme, the rapper Rhyme Fest, who worked with him on his first album and knew him before he was Kanye West, but just a kid in Chicago. And he talked about how he was losing touch with reality. And they were seeing this erratic behavior. And understand, he was at the house of Harley Pasternak, who has been his longtime trainer. He's a Hollywood um, trainer to the stars. Other folks like Common have worked with Harley, and Kanye's worked for him for a long time. So for Harley to say there's an issue, right. you know yeah, there's up. something wrong. And the fact that they had to then put him in handcuffs, that tells you something there, too. Not the people that work at radio, because these is real people that got to feed their kids. And they not being allowed to play that real Because they think that in order to feed their kids, they got to play the same over and over and over. I was raised by the events. The last real I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. We like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, God, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country. You know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. Scared to stand up for something. They scared to lose their fucking house. Or they scared to lose their record deal. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a happy meal. With the breach of three levees protecting New Orleans, the landscape of the city has changed dramatically, tragically, and perhaps irreversibly. There's now over 25 feet of water where there was once city streets and thriving neighborhoods. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. And you know it's been five days because most of the people are black. And even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. I've even been shopping before even giving a donation. So now I'm calling my business manager right now to see what's, what is the biggest amount I can give. And, and just to imagine if I was, if I was down there and those are, those are my people down there. So anybody out there that wants to do anything that we can help with, with the setup, the way America is set up to help the, uh, uh, the poor, the, the black people, the, uh, the less well off as slow as possible i mean this is red cross is doing everything they can we, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way and they, they they've given them permission to go down and shoot us and subtle but in even many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors will to rebuild and remain in the area the destruction of the spirit of the people of southern louisiana and mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all george bush doesn't care about black people please call kim want more children but but you want more Does Kim want more children? But but you want more? Does Kim want? Gay is in the building. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air right now. Put your hands in the air right now. Yeah. Put your hands in the air right. Throw your hands in the air right now. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm with you. Gay is in the building. <laughs> Throw your money. Hey, get the air right now. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right. Picasso is dead. Steve Jobs is dead. Walt Disney is dead. I'm dead. It ain't 
no joke, as Rakim said. I first met Don Du West in a consultation. She arrived in my office, uh, scheduled a consultation, and we saw her. Uh, apparently she had seen a number of doctors before who she had uh, consulted with and she chose us because I guess we answered her questions better and made her feel more comfortable. She didn't have to die and it shouldn't have to be that way. But people don't do what they need to do and much like children they look to blame someone else when in fact they know. And I don't care what anybody says, Stephen Scoggins and Kanye West in their quietest, deepest hours of contemplation have to know they did the wrong thing. Stephen Scoggins by leaving her alone and Kanye West by not being man enough to stand up and say, you know what, this is what happened and that's sad. They cut the investigation short when it turned away from the doctor after all the scrutiny for me. When it turned away from me and turned on to the nephew, that's when the family went away. I do know that they chose voluntarily not to cooperate with the nursing board who was investigating. And that says to me that the family doesn't really want to know the truth or doesn't want you and I to know the truth. I believe they didn't want it to go that way. They didn't want the family member uh, investigated simply because they didn't want to take responsibility for what had happened to Donna West. I think the best friend Glenda told us exactly what happened to Donna. We fed her, we gave her pain medicine, we put her in the bed, half hour later we went to see her, she had vomit around her mouth, black stuff, and she was clamped. I think that tells the story. It's no more complicated than that. Everything that happened after that is particularly interesting because you got to see lawyers, family, and some people in the media really bastardize what had happened in order to justify their take on the story. Kanye West, the billion dollar superstar, probably the biggest in modern times, maybe even history, came out last night in a stream of consciousness rant that the LA Times dubbed it and said, look, whether you support Donald Trump or whether you support Hillary, I've got the transcript here. It doesn't matter. You're an American. You have a right. Let's give Donald Trump a chance. I didn't vote, but if I would have voted, it would have been for Donald Trump. Why is everybody freaking out? Why is it there so much division over a guy that really hasn't said all these things people have said? Hollywood is so controlled. And they keep their stars, they keep their rock stars and hip-hop stars on very short leashes. I know a lot of top Hollywood people. They tell me star killing is real. And when somebody's outlived their usefulness and they don't want to pay that star out, hundreds of millions in royalties they're going to get over their lifetime, their managers take them out. Here is the incredible headline we'll put on screen. Kanye West hospitalized in Los Angeles, placed on psychiatric hold. So he goes on stage, knocks the curtains down, brings up the fact that what the hell's going on in America with all this division. And then suddenly, within an hour, he's hospitalized and drugged and disappears. That is right out of the Soviet Union. They would use psychiatric systems to suppress and control people. So would the Nazis. They were famous for it. But when you mention that psychology's done this or psychiatry's done it, I was in Psychology Day like five years ago. They go, Jones is crazy. He thinks psychiatry's been used to suppress people. When you're locked up in a mental hospital, that's psychiatry. That's medical doctors, not just psychologists. There are a lot of great psychologists. They help people work through things. They have a lot of great ideas. I'm not bashing them, but I should be able to say there's a history of political oppression through this. That's a fact, and nobody can deny that. So Kanye West, hospitalized in Los Angeles, placed on psychiatric hold. Paul Watson never calls me and tells me what he thinks I ought to do. He's a really smart guy. He called me about 4 o'clock yesterday. He said, have you heard that uh, Kanye West came out in this big speech and said that folks should accept Trump and give him a chance and that it's okay to vote Republican? And I said, he said, you ought to reach out to him. And I said, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll do that. That guy's his own person. I, I mean, I may reach a billion people a year on YouTube or whatever. We are huge, but he seems pretty arrogant. And he said, no, I, I think it's real. He, he said he went and watched some bootleg you know, stream of what he'd actually said. I guess it's broke yesterday, but happened the day before. I said, okay, I'll remember tomorrow to do a video, reach out to him. But by the time I got on air and all this other news to cover, I kind of forgot about it. And then I was sitting there during the break reading this stuff. Kanye West hospitalized in Los Angeles, placed on psychiatric hold. 
Kyan was hospitalized after canceling the rest of tour. He calls out Beyonce and praises Trump on stage tirade, New York Times. Let me tell you something. They're all about media and hype. They know only 20% of people watch news. 80% of people get their news from entertainment. And if they get Kanye West off the reservation, when the majority of people are sick of the liberal control, sick of the word control, sick of the oppression, sick of the political correctness, most people like Kurt Russell, read his quotes, or, or, or Bruce Willis, he's not a conservative. He's not a liberal. They're libertarians. They're for freedom, but lower taxes, and being able to say what you want and do what you want. He's been threatened. Bruce Willis has been threatened. They all get threatened. When they speak out, I've had top producers, I mean top producers, visit me because I won't go to L.A. And they tell me, Alex, it's a total cult. You criticize Hillary, you criticize communism, you criticize socialism, you criticize gun control, you criticize open borders, you get crucified. They come after you. They shut off your funding. Look at James Woods, one of the top actors in Hollywood, hundreds of major roles, big star TV shows. He began to criticize Obama five years ago. And they threatened him. You criticize Obama, you're off the air with a TV show. Two years later, he was off the air. 2013, he says, I've been blackballed for telling the truth. I'm not for blackballing communists. I'm not for blacklists, but why is it okay to do this to conservatives? They panicked. And think about it. Lady Gaga calls for a revolution against libertarians and conservatives. Katy Perry calls for a violent revolution. All these other Hollywood directors do. They don't get hospitalized. They don't get thrown in the loony bin. Think about that. Think about that. My news director, Rob Dew, was making that point earlier that all the other people that go along with the system, that's okay. But as soon as Kanye West breaks with this, they come on to him like a ton of bricks. This thing smells to high heaven. What do you think's going on? I give it a good 50% chance they went and grabbed him, drugged him, and threw his ass in a mental institution. I mean, they did throw him in there, and that he, and the, 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 they're going to drug him up now, and who knows how he's going to come out. So when I ask the question, it's not a question. Kanye West kidnapped, thrown in a mental institution. Here's the headline. Kanye West hospitalized in Los Angeles, placed on psychiatric hold. Hey Harley, can you tell, tell us what happened with Kanye? No comment. Any comment, Harley, on Kanye? How is he? Just for his fans, maybe? Nothing. His fans are worried, man. Can you tell us what happened to him last night? Engine 41, you're getting rescue 41 from quarters. Rescue 861, he's canceled. 